for COP28, first I would like to appreciate the fact that it's very well organized, but as Africa we have a position that we really need to take home. Uh, we want to see this come out, out of these COPs. One of it is the loss and damage that was adopted in the previous COP in Sharm El Sheikh. We wouldn't want this loss and damage fund to be a voluntary arrangement. It should come out clearly that uh, the loss and damage fund is a, as a matter of principle. So that it, because you cannot quantify loss and damage, so if they, they do not input the money, it becomes a challenge. So we want to say that it should be as a matter of principle. Because as it is, Africa emits just less than 4%. And yet, it, it is the most hit by the climate shocks. So for us as negotiators, we are saying, let the loss and damage fund be as a matter of principle and not a voluntary arrangement. And then two, we are also saying this money uh, adaptation should trickle down to the grassroots that face the severe impacts of climate change. It shouldn't be just a lot of bureaucracy. There is apparently a lot of bureaucracy in access to this financing. And at the end of it all, we will get to COP29 when actually we have not yet achieved what we committed to or what leaders commit to at COP28. So as Africa, we feel that we are most vulnerable to climate change and we are among the most vulnerable, uh, climate vulnerable countries. So trickling this money down to the, to the local, local communities would be a plus for us as Africa. Otherwise, Africa should be treated as an affirmative, an affirmative region. Reason being, we have always tried to put this on the agenda at the core, but it hasn't gone through. But through the already uh, frameworks that have been put in place, an affirmative action for Africa would be good for our people because as it is, Everyone knows that we get the highest shocks, yet we, commit, we, we, we contribute less in regards to uh, emissions. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, at the COPs here, whereas we have the gender component in terms of one of the thematic areas for the negotiations, women, despite the fact that we are generally talking about gender, but I want to say that women even face it worse when they are climate shocks. For example, it's a woman who, are, who must bring food on the table. In Africa, it's women who bring food on the table. So a woman is the one who goes looking for firewood to make sure that uh, food is put on the table. A woman is the one, so it means that in terms of uh, engagement, most times women are left behind. So even when they, we are talking about climate financing, most women do not know how to access it. We are talking about going green, green jobs. What about green jobs for women farmers in my village where I come from? So what I would like to see in the text is more emphasis on gender, especially focusing on women and young people. Young people who should be, should be given, they can be creative when given, uh, 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 when given, uh, when they are considered, they can be creative in terms of coming up with innovations in addressing climate change, but at the same time uh, having employment, so which would be eventually sustainable.